A South Valley family's world turned upside down in just a matter of hours last week. The pillar of their family became the victim in what they believed was a terrible accident. But the worst part is they have no idea who is responsible. Julie Friendak spoke with the family about what they've been going through since then, uh, what they're hoping for now. And Julie, at this point, they, they just want some accountability here. Yeah, that's right. This family says their grandmother remembers taking a walk on the ditch bank near her South Valley home, sitting down to rest. And that's about it. A good Samaritan found her in bad shape with serious injuries with no one else around. But this family believes someone has to know something more. This South Valley ditch bank has always been full of good memories for siblings Marisol Sanchez and Nick Rivera. We walked on the ditches, played, um, rode our bikes. It's, I mean, we've been, it's been a part of our life growing up, always catching crawfish. But now they know it is the place where they almost lost their mother, Elvira Rivera. She remembers going on a walk. Um, and then she remembers sitting down to rest. Just like any other day, on a route she's taken countless times. It's a normal walkway for my aunts, uncles. They all live down here and we all always have walked through here. But that normal routine took a turn last week. Sanchez got a very abnormal call. From a social worker at UNM Hospital saying that if I knew Elvira Rivera and that they had her in the hospital, um, she was in an accident. A good Samaritan found her on the ditch bank with serious injuries to her legs. Her legs were mauled. They were um, completely destroyed. Rivera had to get her left leg amputated above the knee and her right leg is now held together with pins and screws. Investigators from the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office say there were large tire tread marks on the ditch bank road that appeared to be from mobile heavy equipment. The family says they've seen large tractors doing work in the area and using the ditch bank road. We even saw a pair of tractors traveling on the main road close to where it happened. She's, you know, of, of course, as you could imagine, like doesn't understand how something can happen like that. She's mentioned how can some how could someone just have left me? We would just like someone to come forward and be held accountable for this. Geta, Rivera's granddaughter, turned to social media to help try and find out what happened. She got thousands of reactions on TikTok. This is going to be something that's going to change all of our lives and especially hers. Accident or not, they uh, somebody is responsible for what happened and it's going to change all of our lives. My mom's the most and we just want answers and accountability. The family says all things considered, Rivera is in good spirits and the family's been supporting her since that accident. If you have any information about that accident or saw something in that ditch bank last Wednesday, call the sheriff's office. Tessa. A wonderful family. She has such a warm, beautiful smile. Somebody, yeah, has to know something. Julie, thanks.